Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm super excited today because I'm going to be doing a drugstore makeup haul. I bought so much stuff recently at the drugstore and a lot of them are from new collections. So I'm super excited um, to say the least and I have tried some of the stuff I already purchased but I cannot wait to show you what I bought. So let's just get right into it. Okay, so the first place I went to was Walmart. And from Walmart, I found a new Real Techniques brush. I'm not sure. This is definitely not part of their, like, gunmetal line or something. Um, but this is the Real Techniques Sculpting Brush. It has a new sticker on it, so I'm guessing it's pretty new. Um, but this feels beautiful. I haven't obviously tried it yet, but I feel like this would be perfect for contouring powders because it's pretty dense, but it also is fluffy enough, so you can definitely blend it out. And it fits right in the hollows of the cheekbones perfectly. So I cannot wait to try this. Alright, next I just repurchased one of my duo glues. This is the one that's a brush on. I actually ordered the House of Lashes one because I heard that one's really good also. Um, but for the time being, I picked up another one of these. I just think it's so much easier to brush on the adhesive rather than like squeeze it out on the tube and try not to get it all over your eyelash and then ruin a pair of lashes because that has happened to me before. Okay, next I just bought some lashes. I have been waiting for everyone to get in stock the Red Cherry Lashes in number 43 because those are my favorite drugstore lashes. Well, drugstore. <laughs> um, but I found these at Walmart. These are the Kiss um, 5 Pack O Wine Lashes. They look pretty similar to the 43s and Wispies kind of put together. And I got two packs. So I'm pretty excited to try them. Um, they look really pretty. And the band looks really thin and, and flexible. So I might stack them and see how they look. Um, but we'll see. They look really pretty and wispy and, you know, light and feathery and long. So what cannot you like about them? Um, this is not from Walmart, obviously, but I just put it in the back because I wanted to show it to you guys. This is from BH Cosmetics. This is their new Wild Child palette. <sighs> this is so pretty. I actually bought another one. I don't remember what it's called, but it's the purpley pink bluish one. It came damaged, so I sent it back and I'm waiting for another one. But this is the Wild Child Oh, they're so pretty. That's pretty much what they look like true to color. Oh, they're baked goodness. They're so glittery and sparkly and metallic. The pigmentation is really awesome. So I'm super excited to try this. You guys will probably see this in an upcoming video because I really want to do some more drugstore tutorials for you all. I've been like going ham with high-end makeup. So that's why I'm doing this big haul. I thought I would, you know, it's probably one of my New Year's resolutions to incorporate more drugstore makeup into my videos. So I'm super excited to try that. Look who it is. Say hello. Oh, hey. Hello, YouTube. She's like, what the hell? All right, next I went to my local Walgreens and I got a lot of stuff. Like, this is the bag they gave me. I mean, that's kind of like, I don't know. <laughs> I'll just go into it. I'm okay. I'll just start with lip products. Um, so I got some of the new Rimmel Provocalypse 16 hour. These are really, really awesome. They are kiss proof, eat proof, sweat proof pretty much. Um, I've had a pretty greasy dinner the other day and I was wearing this and they did not budge. So that is awesome. They're really comfortable to wear for a lip stain because it has this balm on the end. So if you're in for a lip stain and you want something drugstore, this is definitely the way to go. I love these so far. Um, another lip stain kind of deal is from L'Oreal Paris. I don't remember what these are called, but I've yet to try this out yet. There's been mixed reviews on this, um, saying that it's super, super dry and that you have to apply the balm more than once a day, at least a couple times a day. So we'll see about that. I haven't tried it yet, but the color is really pretty. It's like a milky pink. Um, it's in the color Rose Tattoo. So we'll see how I like it. Um, CoverGirl came out with some new lipsticks recently. I don't remember what the line is called, but they look like this. This is what my packaging looks like. They're like in this bronzy, really pretty nude packaging. I got two colors. I got 235 and 245. Um, so 235 champagne is just a really pretty nude with a touch of pink in it. It's really wearable and it doesn't wash out your lips. Um, it's really comfortable to wear too. They're very pigmented and very creamy. I'm pretty surprised. I don't really like CoverGirl lipsticks, but I'm surprised with these. Um, and this is in the color Honeyed Bloom 245, which is definitely more pink than the last one. So, like I said, they're very comfortable to wear on the lips. I've only worn them a couple of times, but so far so good. So I might pick up some more of those. Um, these are not new per se, but I wanted to pick them up. They're the Maybelline Color Whispers. I got two of them. Um, they look really intense in the packaging, and I was like, oh god. But when I put them on, they're definitely more wearable than they seem. 
because I am not a neon person. But this is in the color Petal Rebel. Just this really pretty pink. And then I also got the color, let's see, um, Coral Ambition, which is just another really pretty coral color. And they go on pretty sheer, but they do have a, a good amount of pigmentation in them, so I do like that. If you guys are in the market for a new brow gel from the drugstore, I highly recommend the L'Oreal Paris um, Brow Stylist Plumper. This is in the color medium to dark, and it works pretty well with my hair color right now. This thing will not make your eyebrows move. Like, not joking. I'm seriously not joking when I say that. This thing is like cement. It will stick your eyebrows to your face like crazy. So I do like it because it, I mean, it does its job. So, um, okay, I picked up some more eyelashes. <laughs> These are the Ardell Glamour in 111. I really wanted the 113s, but I cannot find them anywhere except for online and I was just in the store. And I saw these and I was like, hey, why not? So these are really pretty long and wispy and fluttery and the band looks really easy to work with like all Ardell bands do. So I'm excited to try these. I actually might use this in an upcoming Valentine's Day tutorial, which will be all drugstore. I got some new eyeshadow quads. These are very similar to the Maybelline eyeshadow quads, but they're by CoverGirl. They look like this. This one is in the color Stunning Smokes, which is really, really pretty. I've actually worn this a couple times and I really do like it. They're really blendable and they're very pigmented. And this is also in the color Notice Me New. So this is probably my favorite one, but I have yet to wear it. So we'll see how that goes. But they're really awesome so far, so I really do like that. Compared to the other CoverGirl shadows, these are winners. Um, I got some new shadow stick things. One is from Milani. It's in the color Winter White. It's just this really pretty creamy white color. I'm pretty sure it's metallic. It looks really pretty. And then I also am going to try the L'Oreal Infallible Eye Crayon. This looked beautiful. And it's in the color Impressive Brown. It looks really taupey, actually. Like, kind of like a mushroom taupey brown color with metallic shimmers in it. So, right up my alley. I'm excited to try that, too. Okay, so I picked up the Maybelline Lion Stiletto. I've tried this in a couple months ago, and I didn't really like it. I don't know why. Um, it dried up on me really fast, and I didn't really make the best wing, in my opinion. But I've been seeing a bunch of people on Instagram use this recently, so I thought I would give it another shot. Why not? I love my Kat Von D tattoo liner, so we'll see if this lives up to that. Um, I'll let you guys know. Last eye product, I've picked up the new Physicians Formula Shimmer Strip Extreme Shimmer Palette in the color Nude Eyes. This is in gorgeous pink glitter packaging. Hello! Obviously I like it. And I love shimmery shadows, especially on the eyelids, so this is right up my alley. They're so pretty. I'll probably be doing a look with this soon because I love these. I'm super excited to try them. They look so beautiful, so we'll see. Okay, and last but not least, there are foundations. There's a lot of new drugstore foundations out right now. I picked up four different kinds, and I've tried three out of the four, and I have opinions on them already. So um, I'll start out with one I have yet to try. This is the L'Oreal infallible pro matte i'm super excited to try this this is a demi matte finish foundation 24 hour medium coverage with an air light texture i don't know about the 24 hours so i don't really wear my foundation that long but i'm excited to try this um, i've heard pretty good things about it especially for oily skin girls like myself um and i love l'oreal um foundation especially my true match that's one of my favorites so i cannot wait to try this um next i don't know how i feel about this I might take it back, I might not, we'll see. This is the Revlon Photo Ready Airbrush Effect, and this is supposed to be the new and improved version. This still has glitter in it, so I don't know what's new and improved about this at all. I really like it if it did not have glitter in it. It's so frustrating because this wears beautifully throughout the day, especially when you first put it on, you're like, wow, this looks so beautiful. Um, and then when you wear it throughout the day, the foundation kind of comes off and the coverage kind of mellows out and then you see the glitter on your primer. Like, that's all you see is glitter. So I'm a little let down with this. It's beautiful. I might just keep this to wear it on days that I don't really want to wear makeup for very long because it looks pretty good for the first couple hours, but if you want a long wear foundation and not look like a disco ball, don't buy this because you will look like a disco ball after a certain amount of hours. But it just didn't work for me. It might work for you. So I would definitely give it a shot if... I mean, you may like that look, but I'm a little let down. Next, I picked up the Rimmel London Lasting Finish 24 Hour or 25 Hour with Comfort Serum Foundation. 
I've worn this once and the color was a little light for me. I don't remember how it wore. It's full coverage. That's what it says. It's a pretty medium coverage, I guess. I don't think it's full coverage. I honestly, I don't really remember much. Um, but I'll give this another go and see if I like it. Yeah, I wanted to get a different color, but the other color that was darker is like way too yellow. So that's a bummer. So we'll just have to make this one work. And last but not least, I'm wearing this currently and I really, really like it. This is the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Portless Foundation. I love this. This is not a super powdery matte finish foundation. It's definitely more semi-matte, satiny. It's just really pretty and it leaves me matte, yes. But in the best sense. Um, it has really good coverage. This is like medium to full if you want to build it up, but it's really blendable. Coverage is there finishes there, lasting power is there. So I really recommend this foundation if you were normal to oily skin, um, you will probably really like this. So, all right, so that's all I got from the drugstore. I hope you guys really like this video. Um, thumbs up if you guys like makeup hauls. I'm planning to do a Sephora one soon because I have some new stuff from there too. And yeah, if you guys want to see any of these products in action or reviews, later reviews, anything like that, leave them down below and I'll be happy to reply to a comment or anything like that if you guys want to hear updates on things that I was iffy about or that I haven't tried yet or I'm still trying and I'm loving obviously. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on all of my social media accounts so you don't miss out on anything and I will see you all in my next video. Bye!